guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my February favorites and I'm really excited to share this with you because this month I feel like I have found a lot of new products that I really am loving that I think have really made a difference in my beauty and skincare and stuff and also I have found some other products that I have used for a long time that I just had kind of put back and haven't been using them and started using them again and I realized just how much I love them so I can't wait to share them with you. Also I just wanted to say that I have a lot of videos coming up related to St. Patrick's Day and Easter. I have some tutorials, some cooking videos, and some fashion videos so if you aren't subscribed be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will link it somewhere in here so go ahead and subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up so let's go ahead and jump into my favorites so first I will start off with skincare if you have watched any of my recent videos you know that I have been starting to use some more products from origins I have used their eye cream in the past I still do the ginseng or whatever the morning eye cream is um, but recently I have tried a cleanser and a moisturizer and I wanted to share them with you in my favorites just because I have been loving them and using them every day since I purchased them. So the cleanser is the Origins Checks and Balance Frothy Face Wash and it just looks like this. I love this because this leaves my skin squeaky clean. I have oily skin and I really just don't like lots of excess oil and stuff like that on my skin and I feel like this gets rid of that. Um, I haven't been having any breakouts. I have tried a product recently, it wasn't by Origins, um, that I think has been causing my skin to break out. So if you see like any little problem areas um, right now, that might be why. But um, for the most part, I have not seen any breakouts from the Origins products and that is a big plus for me because I just don't like breakouts. So this leaves my skin so clean and it has a hint of mint and I just love it. The next thing from Origins is a moisturizer and this is a daytime moisturizer. This is the Origins Phytazine with SPF 15. So it comes in a bottle like this, and I really like this because it is slightly tinted. It is not a tinted moisturizer, but it has SPF. Um, it's not oil-free or anything like that, but I use it every morning. It gives me a light bit of coverage, um, nothing extreme or anything like that. So it just kind of sets me off with a little bit of a clear complexion, and it leaves a nice canvas for makeup application. So I really like that, and I like that it has a little bit of coverage in SPF because I can't wait to use this in the summer because I think this will be great on days that I don't want to wear makeup in the summer or if I'm going out on the boat or the beach or something like that so um, I'm really excited to use this in the summer but for the winter it has been working great also. The last skincare product is from Mario Badescu and this is a spot treatment so this is just for acne, um, active breakouts and stuff like that and it is a little bit shooken up right now so it looks a little bit nasty but this is supposed to be clear liquid and then the bottom is a pink powder and you just dip your q-tip in and pull it out and then dab it on any acne spots that you might have and leave it on overnight and literally by like the next morning I can already see the zit is not gone but I can see a dramatic difference in it being like dried out and um, improving so that I really do like and I use this every night so I will link my skincare routine below for the morning and night so you can see those because I use these products in those videos. So the next product that I have been loving this month is kind of skincare related but it's not really beauty related and this is just a hand soap and this is by Bath and Body Works and this is just the warm vanilla sugar flavor and I've used these hand soaps in the past and you know you pick your scent and everything like that but I have never really found a scent that I liked the way my hands smelt afterwards and this one just leaves my skin like my hands feeling so sweet and they feel so soft and they smell so sweet and I just love the way it smells after I use it and I haven't had that result with any of the other ones but I do like their hand soaps but as far as this one I love the way it makes my skin smell after I use it. Now for some of my makeup favorites this month. One of the first products that I noticed that I have been loving are these two brushes and I have purchased some other brushes. These are Real Technique brushes and I purchased the eye brushes and I've really been liking them too but these ones just really really stood out to me so I have been using the powder brush as you can see and the blush brush and I use these every day and these brushes are so 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 soft. I cannot even describe to you how soft they are. The application is wonderful. I love how soft they are and I love the way they apply product to my face so that is a big 
good thing for me, so I really like that. So these will probably be staying in my makeup routine for a long time. So if you've tried any of the Real Techniques brushes, and um, other than like the eye brushes and these two brushes, let me know if you like them or not, because I'm interested in printing some more of these brushes. The next makeup kind of product that I have been loving this month is just kind of natural shimmery eyeshadows like light golds and light pinks and so I have two palettes here to show you. Um, one's a palette, one's a duo, but I have just been loving them. At the beginning of the month I was using the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I used this in the tutorial for Valentine's Day and I have been wearing the Valentine's Day look like I was wearing that every single day. But I just love this. It has really great everyday looks. You can wear them at night, you can wear them during the day. I just really, really love these. Um, and I have been using this day color for a highlight every single day with no matter what I'm wearing. So that was like for the first part of the month that I was like loving those. And then I had heard about this duo from NARS. And I think I heard this on Makeup by Tiffany D's channel. But this is just the NARS duo in... Let me see. Alhambra, I think. So I will show you that. And it just looks like this. It is a light pink color and a light um, kind of tan bronze color. And I will go ahead and swatch these for you. So this is the light pink and this is the light tan. I have just been loving neutral, neutral eyeshadow colors this month. <laughs> Another product, makeup product that I've been loving this month is a face product. And this is the blush by NYX or NYX. And this is in 06 Peach. And I mentioned this in my, I think, a haul video and a drugstore makeup routine. And it just looks like this. It's a bright pink. And I don't really find it that peachy. It's more like a bright baby pink. But I have literally just been wearing this blush every day with the next product that I'm about to show you and I think it just gives you a nice pop of color with still being natural um, so it's a nice pink but a natural pink and I've been using it with my um, Real Techniques blush brush and I have been loving it this month the next product that I have this is a product that I have like kind of re-fallen in love with and I have had it since last summer this was a part of the summer 2012 Chanel collection and this is just their Luminous Bronzing Powder in number 907 Sable Beige. And so that's what the back looks like. And I like how their bronzing things come with a gold Chanel thing. It's kind of worn off. But as you can see, mine broke. I dropped it on vacation last year and it broke. But it was very pretty. It was, um, you could, it was kind of like, reminded me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks or whatever they're called. It was, had like light gold at the top and then a light pink and then it went down into kind of the brown bronzing. And mine broke, so I put mine in just an old pot from Laura Mercier that I had a powder in. And so it looks kind of like this, which is kind of gross. And you're probably thinking like, okay, that's nothing crazy. But I don't know what it is about this bronzing powder. Like it is the highlighting, bronzing, luminous bronzing powder that is just amazing and I hope that they come out with something like this or I hope that they have something else like this in their collection just because I love this. I just use like a big kind of fluffy brush and I dip it in here and tap it off and then I just kind of go along my cheeks like where I would contour and on my um, temples and any place you just want to bronze up a little bit but it gives your skin this beautiful like bronze goddess glow. It's incredible just how beautiful this product is and I will use this until it is gone and I will be loving it forever. I just think that this is a great bronzer that if you were able to get your hands on it or if you've tried something like this, I really really like these kind of products and obviously you wouldn't want to contour with this but for everyday bronzing like for the summer and even right now for early late winter early spring to me I'm kind of like ready for spring um, but I had just been loving this for my face I just think it adds a beautiful glow to your face one more product that I want to mention is just the Chanel Chance perfume and I just want to say that I'm still loving this and I just think that this is going to be my favorite all throughout the year I think it's all year around scent um, and it is just my favorite I have two hair products this month I'm not sure if I mentioned this last month in my skincare or my in my favorites for January, but I'm going to mention it again if I did not. And that is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I got mine at TJ Maxx because I can't find mine at any um, like drugstores around where I live, but um, our TJ Maxx carries this. And so 
I have just been loving this. I love that it's tinted for brown hair because I've never tried one that was tinted for brown hair, but I always have a problem with kind of white showing in my roots for dry shampoo. But this smells good, it works great, and it's colored, and it's relatively cheap. This one was $5.99, so I'm sure you could get one cheaper than this, but there are plenty of ones that are more expensive than this, than this that I would say are probably equivalent or to just as great as this one. So I have really been loving this one. I went back and bought another one. It's my first can, but I already have my second can on backup and everything like that. And I used this a lot this month, and I haven't... It's still not low. It's still kicking, so that is good. The next hair product I recently purchased the other day, but I still have been really, really liking this. And this is just the Tresemme Split Remedy Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And I always have a lot of trouble getting my hair brushed out. Even though my hair is stick straight, this is my hair... Without being straightened, I just blow dried it, so it is pretty straight. But I still, from dyeing my hair, it has some damage, and so I still have a lot of trouble getting my hair brushed out when I get out of the shower. So I've been spraying this in, and this really helps um, helps me get the brush through my hair. So as far as detangling, I think this does a great job. I'm not really sure about the split remedy. I haven't been using it. I have been using it, but I haven't really paid attention to my split ends. But if I see a miraculous difference, I will show you that later. So my last two favorites are kind of not um, not beauty related, but I wanted to share them with you anyway. So this month I have been trying to drink more water, so water with lemon has been my favorite. Um, I love lemon in my water. I really just love lemon in my water. So um, if you follow me on in Instagram, I know I posted a picture of lemon in my water the other day. But um, I just love lemon in my water, so that is good. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is a TV show, and I think that a lot of people have love, either love this or hate this, and I love this, but I have been addicted the past two months to the Courtney and Kim Take Miami. I am a Kardashian fan, so I hope, if you are, let me know if you like the Kardashians. I know a lot of people don't like them, and they think that they're, you know, annoying and all that other stuff, but I really don't watch a lot of reality TV or anything like that but I love to watch the Kardashians, so that is my favorite TV show at the moment and probably of all times. Anytime there's a new season, I have some of the old seasons on DVD, so I just, I love to watch the Kardashians. <laughs> so that is all for my favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what your fa beauty favorites are or any of your favorites this month. Um, if you've had any kind of thing that's been sticking out to you or standing out, let me know what your favorites are below in a comment. And if you make a video of your monthly favorites, be sure to leave them as a video response so I can watch them because I love watching favorites videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my blog because I like to post some stuff on there. I'm going to keep getting more active. Um, recent, like this past week I've just been kind of busy so that's why I haven't been posting stuff. But I'm very excited for my St. Patrick's Day videos and my Easter videos so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see those. And I thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!